Khan. This is uh, another one. Just saw this article. I was like, let me just immediately jump into it, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the whole of Alexis pushing his truth in sincerity. So the WEF says there are rational reasons to microchip your child. So you see more and more articles truly uh, letting you know about what is their plan. They want you to be microchipped. And the thing that the devil is going to do, he is going to lure you. Let's get this first and then we jump and we go into the scriptures, man. The book of Proverbs chapter 12. Um, well, it's not really... Okay, let me, let me get this, man. The book of Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbors, but the way of the wicked seduces them. And this is an example of the way how the wicked is, um, is seducing people into, into, into falling for, for the trickery. It says the World Economic Forum is attempting to normalize the idea of implanting microchips into humans. It says, oh, they have suggested that there are ways to ethically make these amazing technologies a part of our lives and are making a case for implanting tracking chips into children. And we've been mentioning these things, for example, like what is one of the worst things that a parent can, can uh, befall is that her child gets kidnapped or, or for some reason is lost and cannot be found. And they will say things like, yeah, but if your child had a microchip in him or her, then you could always track and trace where your child was and there would be no worries, no fear over somebody uh, kidnapping your child. It says parents should view the implanting of the chips into the children as a solid rational move according to the bit according to a blog post about augmented reality this is the ar on the wef's website it says like in many wef's or uh, other takes in the future for uh, various types of technology the emphasis is put on inserting the right in example its own vision in the direction these should be developing with the inevitable mention of undefined society, the stakeholders who will hold the key to the ethics issues of it all. It says WEF is taking up allegedly a broad usefulness of AR going forward in the field such as healthcare, education and professional settings with the underpinning notion of providing guidelines as to how to ethically regulate this vast potential power and therefore when all said and done, control it. And that's where it's about. Control. The control of the people. You know, to control even to the point where they want to control what you think. That's why you have all these, all these uh, uh, community guidelines where they say, if you, if you mention things against their standards, against their narrative, you, you, had, you had information warriors, man. 110,000 information warriors uh, being being recruited and they're going to control everything that is being posted being said and being spread on the internet why is this because they want to control the narrative they don't want you to have a free freedom of, of freedom of mind the freedom of uh, freedom of opinion freedom of speech you know everything everything is slowly but sure being being restricted is being taken away from you they might they might they might say things like yeah you got freedom of religion freedom of freedom of speech freedom of opinion you know but when you say things which goes against their narrative against their standards it's being deemed as a threat it's being deemed as 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 um <coughs> as misinformation and any form of misinformation is is in their eyes justified to remove or even to punish you know certain people say things and then they want to throw you in front of a judge 
for merely reposting a for for example reposting a a bible script based or speaking about uh, the unnatural uh, affections it says once again it's it isn't all clear why audacity is thrown in unless all youth euphemisms to sell some pretty outrageous vision that the wef is expressing such a replacing drug with brain implants that will manipulate the body with electrical pulses and pairing all sorts of chips put into humans through surgery with senses or might find in a chair <laughs> man oh man oh man oh man and so with the human and the, and the, the chair a seamlessly integrated the quality of life across the board shoots up the Davos base group promises as scary as chip implants may sound they form part of a natural evolution that wearable ones uh, underwent. Hearing aids and glasses no longer carry a stigma. The blog post reads, they are uh, accessoires and are even considered a fashion item likewise. Implants will evolve into a commodity. Which the, the thing that you see is actually they programming. Whoa, you look at this. But critics of these trends say the opposition has nothing to do with stigmas, rather with serious concerns about civil rights, privacy and very concept of human autonomy. The thing that you see happening on this earth is um, the evolving of technology and the, 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 the taking over of uh, um, any form of uh, uh, a spiritual establishment is what ESO is trying to overrule by the technology. The development of, de of technology is, is one of the main focus in the minds of these of these um, of these nations on this earth. If you study if you study China, the Asiatic places, China, Japan, um, but also America. But if you're looking at if you're looking at Russia, they all they all are in a in a race. Of developing and moving and pushing themselves to a level of, uh, of of surpassing anybody in technology because technology is is technology is actually a, is 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 a weapon, you know. This is this is not something that is there created for for the benefits of the people to make your life truly easier or better. That's not the reason why they develop the technology. Technology is a tool, a weapon which they can use in order to, to submit people onto their will, you know? And when they want to mix the technology with the minds of people, we're talking about the, 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 the fusing of people with technology, that's the transhumanism. But the transhumanism is the corrupting of the, of the natural estate of human beings, you see? The Lord, the Lord didn't give us any, any commandments to develop technology and fuse it with humans so that we can enlarge our our human uh, capabilities the only moment when we will surpass the our the the capabilities which we can do right now upon this earth will take place by transformation and the transformation will be a right hand transformation not a, not a left hand side transformation because that's what he is aiming for he wants to he wants to transform people by the way of technology, while the Heavenly Father is going to transform, starting with the elect, the elect on the right hand side by, by, by upgrading them on a spiritual level. And that's the moment when we're going to receive spiritual powers, you know, mind reading, telekinesis, telepathy, teleporting, you know, flying, shooting energy, the, the power to change, to, to, to manipulate and change, to change the elements, change atoms. That's, that's divine power which the Heavenly Father, which Yahweh Shai the Redeemer controls, which the angels also control. And that power is going to be given unto the elect. And that's something that Esau, these elites are striving after. They want to be immortal. They want to be incorruptible. But they can't achieve it. You know, all that they have is the left hand side, the sorcery, the technology. But on the sorcery level and the technology which they have, they can't achieve what the Most High is going to give unto the elect. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge is being increased upon this earth, man. 
to the point where you have people that are blind and they receive uh, uh, a certain technology being placed inside of them, a microchip linked onto the technology and now they can see. Others that had no lag, never in their life they ever could walk, they were always born in, born, born actually uh, uh, paralyzed and the whole life they were actually in a wheelchair. Esau is creating things, has things, but with he can give somebody prosthetic legs, he can link the microchip onto in, which is going to be placed in somebody's uh, head and which with this with this technology uh, a person now can walk but you got to understand that this is not this is not given unto the people to to sincerely help you out these are all tricks to win your trust and to think yeah but that's good but isn't that good isn't that profit isn't isn't that progression but that is not his intent his intent is only to win your trust to gain your trust and so that you will think there's nothing wrong, there's no harm in taking what he's giving you. While the, his, his idea of what he's trying to achieve is, is existing out of controlling you because you getting the chip inside of you means that they will have complete control over your mind. They, they control your thoughts, they can, they can manipulate your emotions, they can manipulate anything. But they ain't going to tell you that this power is what, what goes hand in hand with getting you chip they just they just bring it to you as if they really care about you you know and that's why many many people are going to fail this test man many people are going to fail because they they don't see the danger in something which might seem good they don't see the dangers they they lack vision man it says here in the book of uh, uh, second timothy uh, second thessalonians salah second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 let no man deceive you by any means, for the day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. You know, and that falling away took place already before, you know, 70 AD. But in this present time, the Lord is also speaking towards us, and He is saying, let no man deceive you, because we're living, we're living in the, the peak moment, we're living in a peak moment of deception upon this earth. The wicked is developing technology. The wicked is infiltrating. The wicked is 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 so-called uh, handing you things, giving you feelings as if they care about you. The wicked, the wicked is going to to trick people by the way of uh, 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 giving people a microchip <coughs> and telling bums bums on the streets, if you take this microchip. We go and put a a a thousand dollars on on your on your chip account. We go and we go and fix your shelter. You know we go and make sure that you have a, a clothing, and from there we can look further in 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 integrating you back into the into society, and so that you can work. But in their mind, they think, yeah, we got more. The bombs are easy target. Many bums are getting caught in what is taking place because they're already in a state of being destitute of the main things. No hiding place, no sleep, no house, no clothing, no food. And it, it is nowadays it's even a rule. It is law. You, you, you're not even allowed to be a, 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 a homeless and sleep on the streets in certain places. It is unlawful. They, they can arrest you, throw you in prison for being homeless. So, these people are easy target for the wicked to, to, to approach them. Some of them are being caught, thrown, taken, taken to prison, taken to certain, certain uh, 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 private, private uh, uh, places where they, where they bring all those homeless. And then they're being brought and forced and thought they have to take this or they have to leave. You have to take the microchip or you cannot stay here. And what do you think that most of them are going to say? When they get the chance of remaining in a certain place where they can clean themselves, where they get food, where they get clothing. This, these are the ways that the, the wicked is preying on the poor and needy, man. On the poor and needy. And he, he is going to use all the tactics to break you down and cause you to think that you truly need them, but you don't need them. We're living in a time where you got to understand that the Heavenly Father is the one that you truly need in order to understand how the wicked is working and in order to be to be uh, uh, provided 
for what the heavenly father is going to allow by the ways of these devils because they're going to increase the torment the terror the threat the difficulty the pressure from above and the pressure from below upon the people and when the pressure from above and the pressure from below is increasing many people are going to break and they, they many people are even going to they're going to back they're going to back to get the microchip man the book of psalms chapter 82 verse 1 it says the most high standeth in the congregation of the mighty he judges among all the gods how long will he judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked selah defend the poor and fatherless do justice to the afflicted and needy deliver the poor and needy with them out of the hand of the wicked so we pray we pray for our people man and that's what people need to do you got you got to be in the mind of praying in order to escape what is taking place in these days and understanding that the Lord is the only way to protect you from from the wiles of the devils because the devil the devil is using all type of tricks all type of all type of deceptive tools in order to win your trust and to make it seem as if they as if there's no evil intent inside of them man the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slide of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive so we we become older and when you become older you gotta get older also in your spiritual understanding you can't be a child anymore you can't be in the spirit of just believing that the government when the government says this and that and that you just think like no the government would never do something like that which you're saying if you hear certain things you you gotta be in a in a in a maturing mind of researching things why is he saying this where does this come from let me look things up i want to understand what is taking place you know that mind should be groomed inside of you but if you don't have that mind your mind is immediately like nah man i don't believe that people are crazy y'all paranoid then you're going to fall for the for the deception the trickery of the devil because you didn't take no action to research man the book of Proverbs 14 verse 15 The simple believe at every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A simple, naive, a feeble-minded person will hear what, what they say, and they would immediately think like, yeah, it is rational to consider t putting a microchip inside of my child. And they, they're only going to look to all the, the benefits of going along with something, but they don't listen, they don't research what what is the what is the other side the opposite of of what they're trying to feature what are the dangers the risks of of going along with something like that you got to study both sides before you make a decision and if you truly thoroughly study both sides you understand like this is not a smart this is not a smart or wise move to make man it is not wise you see and that's what the prudent man is doing a prudent man is looking when they when the prudent man hears and sees the, the wicked speak, we look at it and we 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 understand what their intent is, man. You're not gonna fall for the sweet speech of the wicked man. You're gonna you're gonna understand, you're gonna discern, you're gonna you're gonna research who they are and what they truly what they truly stand for, man. The book of Proverbs chapter twenty two, verse three. A prudent man foresees the evil, a wise man foresees what is about to take place at the end you know and hide it himself and we hide ourselves under the wings of the most high but the simple pass on and are punished a person that does not care a person that is only fixated on having fun you know living living an epicurious life a death style upon this earth does not mind what these elites are doing some of the people upon this earth have a statement yeah they are so long in power there's nothing you can do against it People that are people that are already they already they already gave up. You got those types as well. They may know and see certain things what is taking place on the globe, but then they say, "Well, but there's nothing you can do against it, man. They got too much power, man. There's nothing you can do." They gave up, you know. But this life is not about giving up. When you see when you see things and you understand what is taking place, you will take action. You will fight until the end. There's no, there's no giving up option like giving. I don't care about it. I'm just living my life. I'm just enjoying it. And if I die, then I die. That's not how life is supposed to be upon this earth, man. 
you stand for something or you stand for nothing and you will fall for everything it says who opposed himself and exalted himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshipped that he is the most high sit it in he as the most high sorry sit it in the temple of the heavenly father showing himself that he is the most high and that is the case with these elites they suffer from a god complexion as the scripture says the heavenly father he he, he beholds everything the eyes of the lord are are watching the earth right the book of proverbs 15 the most high sees everything to the angels and what is it that these elites are doing they put cameras, they put satellites everywhere, and they, they spy on the people. Even in the system, people people envy the oppressor. They mimic the behavior of these elites, and then they want to spy, they want to look. They, they, this, this mind is, is truly a demonic mindset, man. And But they, they don't understand the outcome when you do these things, because you're mimicking the behavior of the biggest enemy of the Most High. This is, this is the, the conduct of Satan. Satan means the adversary. If you walk in that spirit, you're walking in the spirit of the enemy of the Heavenly Father. Do you want to be the enemy of the Most High? That, that People don't understand, man. The book of Proverbs 15, verse 3, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. That Those are the angels. So the elites are trying to mimic the Heavenly Father, but through technology, satellites, cameras... You know, it says, um, Remember you not that when I was with you, I told you these things, and now you know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his times. And that's why right now we know about the nation of Edom. Before, you know, when my moms brought me to the church, we sat there. The only thing that they did was clapping, singing, dancing, praising, screaming, Jeebus. But no one, no one ever told me about the nation of Edom. No one ever told me about the wickedness of, these, of this nation and of the elites of the Amalekites that was ruling the earth. Slowly but sure, the Heavenly Father opened, opens all, opened all the eyes, man, depending on how your road went. The Lord opened and showed me who the dark side was. The secret society, the Illuminati, the darkness upon this earth, the, the, the music industry, the movie industry. You know? You, you read about Cain, about that wicked, that wicked uh, brother. But only in this truth, the Heavenly Father revealed to the Spirit and to the teachers who Esau is. What reincarnation is. Reincarnation is according to the scriptures. And who they are upon this earth and what their intent is. That, that's the moment when you truly understand and wake up to the complete, the complete, uh, um, perception of what is taking place upon this earth man it says for the mystery of iniquity these devils dot already work only he who now let it be let until he be taken out of the way so as they as they labor upon this earth man as they do their things upon this globe the lord is watching them as they trick people the lord is allowing them to do these things until the lord will bring judgment upon them and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which is taking place to the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, because the Lord, the Redeemer, the Redeemer is coming back in the chariots, man, which these people in ignorance call, in ignorance call UFOs. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So, the, the the Satan worshippers are using all type of trickery <coughs> to to deceive people. Many have been fallen. If you look in Sweden, um, how many people? How many people are chipped in Sweden? Sweden was the only country that didn't did, didn't uh, went completely in a lockdown, and the reason why Sweden went didn't went into a complete lockdown is because Sweden is already in that in that vibration of conforming themselves on in, in in receiving the microchip. They are already walking in the right footsteps of the elites. That's why Sweden was not in a complete lockdown. 
thousands of Sweden's uncertain microchips, which was in 2018. I cannot bring out too much. Let me just leave it with that. Look it up. Look, you can look it up for yourself. You know, but that's Sweden. What are an example of science and lying wonders? Like I said, a person, a person that is in time doing time in jail. I don't know, 30 years, for example, if they if they approach a man that is doing 30 years, still has to go 30 years in prison and they will say, OK, if you take this microchip, we are willing to cut this amount of time of your sentence or you can you can you can uh, 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 be released uh, earlier. But you got to if but it's only if you take this microchip. Many people are going to fall. You got to look in situations like when people are going to deal with crisis, extreme crises is like starvation. People seeing their wife, their children starving and they will come up with this thing. People can eat, but you got to conform yourself in by taking this microchip in order to buy and sell in the new established financial system, how many people are going to take it? How many people are going to snap? This is how the this is how the wicked will come because you have to accept it. It's not that they can they it's not that they can just grab you and inject it inside of you and force you to take the chip. No, you have to you have to accept the chip. But the only thing that they can do is exercise tyranny upon you so that you will accept the chip. That's where it's about. You have to accept it. They cannot force it on inside of your body. It's you making a decision and you choose to decide. You decide to, to deny the Heavenly Father and to make Satan your master. You become a perpetual slave as you take this chip onto the elite. You, you choose to be, their, to be their slave if you take this chip. And they know this and they know that the people if you if they will tell the people like i want y'all to take this chip and y'all will be our perpetual slaves many people will say like the hell with you i'm not going to be your slave so they will exercise tyranny torment crisis after crisis shock doctrine upon the people to the point where things are going to be so disastrous so grievous upon this earth that when they will bring this solution towards the people People are going to beg to receive this microchip. So extreme are things are going to be upon this earth. And the Bible describes it, man. The book of Daniel chapter 12. So without the Lord, you're not going to make it. You might be the biggest, baddest, toughest, the, the most money holding or the most amount of guns having creature. If the Lord is not on your side, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. The book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. And it doesn't matter if you're a millionaire, small rich and poor everybody is going to be included in this thing everybody will be tested you know and if you're not walking according to their standards they can just turn off your chip their cyanide cyanide inside of a chip from a distance they can just press a button cyanide will be pumping into your body and you will just die they want full control complete control over all people no more freedom of thoughts man no more freedom of emotion everything being manipulated and controlled by them that's that's the the the, the new world order that they want to establish upon this earth man the book of daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time we're going to witness a time on this earth which has never ever occurred before you got to sit and let you got to sit and think when the prophet spoke man they speaking about we're going to face something so bad so 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 heavy there's no life no moment no no situation to be compared on to what we're going to face all the griefiest things that you know about in the past people saying oh thank god that's gone that's that's behind us Let's pray and hope that that will never happen again. The Lord says he is about to bring something which will surpass your wildest dreams, your wildest history. This generation is going to feel it. People are going to starve. People are going to be driven to desperation where they're going to be cannibals. 
The system is already grooming and teaching people to be cannibals. People are going to be driven to, to the total mind of in insanity where they're going to eat bugs. They're going to eat plants only to keep themselves alive for the tribulation and the hardship that is going to be unleashed upon this earth, man. Right now, people can go. They go to the stores. They do their things. They, they, they don't even consider when you tell them these things. But slowly but sure, the things is all tumbling down. Prices are infla inflation, hyperinflation, the privatization of gas, electricity. Heavy steps, heavy steps are being taken, but those that are watching, they can see what is taking place. Those that are blinded are not aware of the drastic change which is continually taking place upon this globe. It says, And at that time thy people shall be delivered, which is talking about the people of the Most High, the Hebrew Israelites, everyone that shall be found written in the book so the lord is only coming for the elect only for the elect man the most High is not coming for two-thirds of his people man because two-thirds of our people you have you have the devious uh, the devious challenge on uh, uh which is which is one of those when it's one of those 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 bugged out challenges again man self-destructive lewd and just foolish behavior devious challenge youngsters but also adults being enticed into vandalism into the most into the most lewd and devious behavior destroying destroying bedrooms at 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 school <coughs> crazy crazy challenges where you have where you have people uh uh uh, uh putting all type of ice cream and, and uh, uh, whipped cream in, in a toilet and eating out of the toilet. People people licking the toilet seat. Like this, this world, this world is so far out of control. The Lord truly needs to come back and rearrange this earth. Cleanse, cleanse the people that are so sick of this earth by death and reestablish the earth in a righteous way. And only the ones that are walking in righteousness that ever a righteous mind are fit to remain alive in the building process everything that is contrary unto the will of the most high needs to be rid out of this earth it is it is the replaying of the time of noah the heavenly father used the flooding to cleanse the earth many people had to die eight souls were ready to be saved the rest got cleansed of the earth man the same thing is going to take place again only a small remnant of the nation of israel is fit, worthy, and walking in the right mind. The rest of the people is going to be put to death, man. Because they're sick. They're, they're beyond sick. They're beyond sick. The book of Matthew, chapter 40, 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those that shall be in the sun, or shall be the sun darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall for, from heaven shall fall, shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall be the sign of the son of man Yahushai, in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds which is which are the chariots the ufos of heaven with great power and glory yeah you see with great glory the lord is coming man oh everybody is going to witness the returning of the lord we well, got people saying things like yeah the redeemer is already back you, you had you had a clown a clown saying that he was the redeemer and that is and that is an edomite looking creature saying that he is the redeemer and then a, a, an edomite looking creature said that she was mary the, the the most the most foul disgusting blasphemy which is coming out of these mouth of these creatures man but it shows you that and and they have a great congregation that is following these these idiots man that shows you that people don't know the Bible scriptures, man. Everything is written in the scriptures, how it will fulfill. The Lord would come back the same way like how he left the earth. When he left, he got beamed up in the chariot. So you understand when the Heavenly Father's beloved Son is coming back, he is coming back in a humongous fathership. Every eye is going to witness the returning of the Most High's beloved Son. And he is described in the scriptures as a dark-skinned man with white woolly hair and red eyes. But still you got people saying stupid things like, well, nobody has ever seen him. Nobody knows how he looks like. But isn't he Middle, Middle Eastern? 
The Lord is described in the scriptures, man. But people don't read. But yet they speak as if they know. Well, I'm cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I don't have to keep the commandments. The blood of Jesus has already cleansed me. These people don't know the Bible. They don't know the Most High. They don't know the Lord. And they don't know the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. They're all going to be confounded. These are the people that conform themselves onto the system. But in hypocrisy they say that they believe and that they walk in the footsteps of the Redeemer. You know? The people that are actually conformed onto the image of the beast are also going to take the mark of the beast. Because you are simply, you're, 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 not, you're not shield. You're not being protected against the devil when the time is there. It says, and he and he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. So the Lord is coming for his elect. Revelation 7. From the, from the four winds, north, east, south, and west, from one end of the heaven to the other, because the elect is scattered all over the globe. You know? It says, um, And with all the deceivableness of unrighteousness in them, that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that, that they might be saved. And that is what you see with these with these with these with these devils, man. You know? <coughs> what is it in 2 Corinthians 13? Around 11. It says. Oh this is not it. What is it? Satan. They actually, they portraying themselves as if they care about the people, but they're all about destroying the people, man. It says it here. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. The wicked, they bow down unto Satan, but they will, they will, they will portray themselves as if they are workers of light, of righteousness. And how is it that they portray themselves as if they are workers of light and of righteousness? Well, we, we can create, we have, we have developed technology wherewith a person that is blind can see, can receive sight. A person that is deaf to this technology can hear. A person that was lame or, 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 uh, or paralyzed through this technology, you know, the microchip and the prosthetic leg can walk. The feeble-minded creatures are going to be enticed and being seduced by the ways of the wicked. But a, a prudent man is looking further and understands who they're dealing with. What is the wicked doing? What is their intent? What is, what is their goal? It's not about the, 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 the pre-steps. Everything is done gradually, step by step, but they're luring you. Know your enemy. Know how they move. Know their goal. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10 And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish Because they receive not the love of the truth That they might be saved Those that cannot, cannot receive this word They don't have the light And if you don't have the light you're walking in darkness <coughs> Those that are walking in darkness Will grope <coughs> Will stumble Will fumble and they will, they will, they will self-destroy because they don't understand what is taking place. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 verse 9, Therefore is judgment far from us, far from the ones that are not walking in the ways of the Heavenly Father, far from anyone that is not walking in the ways of the Most High, far from, far from the light because the Lord, He is the light of the world. If you don't have the light, you can't see. The light is the understanding, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding, but also the vision that has been given unto you so that you can see who is what, what they do, what their intent is. It says, neither the justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity, for brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for, for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as the night. We are in a desolate places as dead men. That is the estate that the people in the system are in. Not understanding, not caring. When they hear words, which is actually explaining, they have hate towards these words. They want to mark the ones that are trying to shine light and give you the way out. You see? 
So they are snared. They are snared by the strongholds. The strongholds are all the the wiles, the doctrines, the 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 traps which the elite is using to keep the people in a state of not caring and and just being focused on 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 bread and circus, man. It says, and for this cause. The Most High shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. And that's why many people are delusional. Many people are delusional for thinking that the Redeemer, his name is Jesus. The many people are delusional for believing and thinking that the Redeemer is a so-called white man. Many people are delusional for thinking that the Redeemer died for all nations and that anybody can call upon the Redeemer. These people are so far gone in the lies and in the trickery of the rulers that they really think that they, they have part in it, but they have no part in it. The Lord is not coming to save hypocrites. And you can you can know a, a, a person by his fruits, by the way of their speech. Do they know the scriptures? Do they break down the scriptures? Are they keeping the commandments? Are they keeping the high holy days? Do they fear the Lord? Do they reverence the Lord? When you, when you just communicate with somebody that says that they believe, <coughs> or... Or that they say they are followers of the Redeemer. The actions speak. Everybody has a speech. Everybody can say this and that. But your walk is what the Most High sees. Your walk, your conduct, your way of being, your acts, your actions. They speak. And the Lord sees everything. And the Lord will judge you according to your actions, man. The Lord is not going to judge you according to, yeah, you, man, I keep, I do it, yeah, man, I don't have to keep. No, man, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will watch both, but your actions way, way heavier than your speech. In case of a prophet, your speech is very important and will weigh heavy as well. You can't, you can't have no false speech that is not in line with what is written in the scriptures, man. So it says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness which the elites have and everybody that is conforming onto the ways of of um of the world so i don't know if it's needful to bring out revelation 13 by now you gotta know these scriptures by heart but we do it just for for edification sake just in case if people haven't seen these videos or not known with this channel revelation 13 and 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast the image of the beast is what the system stands for. Everything which they push, the whole, the whole mind pattern, the, the 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 way of thinking, the doctrine, the philosophy of the system. That is the image. If you give yourself over onto everything that the system is pushing and convincing you to believe and to do, the chance is is huge that you're also going to take the mark. You know, the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many. As would not worship the image of the beast should be should be killed. So we're moving towards a time where persecution is going to increase to a level where they will say those that are, that will not bow down, those that are, those that, that that don't want to conform themselves onto how they want you to think and to be, they need to be put to death. And it is gradually taking place because those that are not taking those that are not want to speak and believe or or, or teach in line with their narrative. Their information needs to be taken out because they don't want you to have a whole other way of thinking and believing or researching instead of what they want you to think and to feel or to believe. They want to decide what you read, they want to decide what you see, and they want to decide how you think. There's no, there, there should be no freedom of thought or thinking or opinions or any, anything anymore. They want to decide everything for you. You just follow and they steer. That's that's the program where we're moving towards, man. It says, And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bummed, to receive a mark, which is the microchip, in the right hand or in the foreheads. And um, gradually the, the system is normalizing people in thinking there's no big deal in taking this chip because people might say, Yeah, but I always have a microchip in my ID or in my passport. I've always had a microchip in my pay card. So what is the difference? I don't care. I'm just going to take this chip. That's how many people will think. But that's already a, a, a person that is so uh, uh, affected or manipulated or normalized to the point of thinking that there is no difference between you accepting that microchip inside of you and 
uh, you having a pay card while the microchip is outside of you. There's a big difference, you know, because when you have the chip inside of you, this chip is not only your pay system, your your money upon it, or your key, or your medical information, or your or your uh, um, uh, uh, your your uh, uh, your criminal uh, uh, history. It's not merely that. The chip is way more than what they tell you it is. This chip is to control everything. Like I said, it will control your emotions. They can they can cause you to be angry, to be sad, to be depressed, to be to feel all those things. That's what this chip can do. You know? This chip is going to control your mind, your way of thinking. You're not going to have any more free thoughts. You will be completely controlled. That's where that's that's where they're moving towards, man. You know? It says in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the name or the beast or the number of the name. So without this chip, they're going to set up a whole new financial system. And without that chip, you cannot, you cannot participate, you cannot buy, you cannot sell. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and the number is 603 score 6. So gradually you see, you see cash money disappearing, more movement towards everything being digital, you already have the the uh, um, what is this 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 uh, 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 all those all those bitcoins and all that madness which you see on this earth, which a lot of people got enticed into, and they thought that that was the the new the new new of being, you know. But it's it's these are all a gradual uh, a pre steps towards the completion towards the ultimate goal. That's what it is, you know, money disappearing, everything on a microchip, you need to be chipped. They having control over the chip. You're not listening, you're not doing things according to how they want you to be. You rebelling or you offending the elites. They, they have the power to take action against you. That's what they want. And we ain't bowing down onto that, man, because it is a satanic system. And when you take this chip, there is no moment of repenting. No matter, no matter if you might be in a situation of losing your life or starving or where they might grab your, your wife or your children and torment your children, torture them and say, you're going to take this chip or we're going to do this with your child. This truth is about remaining faithful unto the Heavenly Father, even if it means unto death. And that's a big test. One of the biggest tests that is about to be played out on this earth is the the mark of the beast the mandatory making of the mark of the beast are people are going to fear death or are they going to be faithful unto the most high even if it means that they will have to lay down their life in faithfulness unto the most high the book of revelation chapter 2 verse 10 fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer so the lord says you're about to suffer you know some will some will be thrown into the prison it says behold the devil shall cast some of you into the prison because people are going to resist. Many people will resist. Many people will be fearful. And many people are going to conform. Many people are going to think like, yeah, I don't want my children or my wife to be hurt. So I just listen to the government and um, compliance. They, they, they will believe and think that complying onto their demands is the best thing to do. But that's not. It, it is not. You know, complying is, is self-destruction. So this truth and this thing is about standing for what is right standing for what is right standing for uh, uh the most high and even if it means that you have to lose your life it says that ye may be tried you will be tested it says and ye shall have tribulation 10 days with which is a number of completion it can be more days it can be few days be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life so the lord is going to test everybody individually collectively if Satan can break you one on one, he's trying to find ways where he can break you down. But the understanding is, you have to be faithful unto the Most High. You cannot, you cannot change and make somebody else to be faithful unto the Most High. This is, this is you and everybody else individually. You're going to be tested, so you got to be faithful unto the Most High. What is it that you're going to do? That's why you got to pray, pray unto the Heavenly Father. Go into the fasting, you know. Build the connection between you and the Most High. Learn to tap into the Holy Spirit. Obtain the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Get that oil. 
and be as, be as the ones of the wise virgins instead of the foolish virgins who are not going to understand what is going to take place. They are not going to understand how to react in those things. They are not going to have patience. They ain't going to have the faith in the Most High and they will break. And when they will break, they're going to take the, they're going to take the proposal of the enemy. And that means they failed the test. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Shalom.